Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the Toys R Us Japan exclusive Transformers Sideswipe. A really cool looking figure, one I picked up recently in Japan. Uh, very excited to get it opened up and out of packaging. It does look pretty cool to be honest with you. It's probably the nicest looking Transformer. Uh, I think this is part of the Deluxe series. I think this is the best looking one out of that set. I love the car transformation as well. I think that looks pretty cool. Nice shot of side swipe on the top there. He was in uh, Revenge of the Fallen, I believe. I think that's when he was killed off. I don't recall him actually being in Age of Extinction, uh, but still a really cool looking figure nonetheless. And taking a look at the back of the packaging, we see a nice shot of both of the different modes there. Uh, he is, um, I was going to say, a repaint. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he is a straight-up repaint of the figure they released for the last movie, just with the added accessories, the guns from one of the more recent Transformers. The read-up on the back says, Sideswap confronts his Decepticon enemies on two feet of Cybertranium cyber blades. That's a cool-sounding metal. Uh, honed and at the ready. He finds projectile weaponry too easy. Nothing beats the blade. His Autobot pals seek him out for lessons on the ancient art of Cybertronian swordplay, just in case they get up and close and personal with a Decepticon. And as you can see, he turns into the Cor uh, Corvette Stingray concept, which is actually a really cool looking car. Uh, a bit of a throwback to the retro Corvette from the mid 60s. So, with that, let's get this guy opened up. Okay, and here we have Sideswipe opened up and out of packaging and I'm a little upset because what is a ridiculously cool looking figure is ruined by um, something pretty silly and that is his legs uh, they decided to give him wheels for legs which is you know really clever because it means he can't stand all that well um, you know you can flip those down but they do absolutely nothing so uh, a real shame you can get him to balance, but uh, yeah, I think they, they could have done something a little bit better than uh, what they've given us there. Having said that, though, I'll bring it forward because visually, he is one of the nicer looking Transformers I've come across. I love the face sculpt on Sideswipe. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Really cool. He's got uh, like a two-tone paint scheme going on. He's got like a metallic -y silver and then like a charcoal, uh, which works really well. I mean, nice detail on the face moving down as well pretty cool nice detail on the back yeah at least in, in his transformers mode he is a very cool looking transformer okay and here we've got sideswipe in his vehicle form pretty cool looking car i mean definitely very futuristic uh, I had a bit of a hard time getting everything to, to click, as you can see. Um, but I assume that's just my incompetence at doing Transformers and not the actual Transformer itself. Uh, really cool, very impressed with how it uh, ended up looking. Certainly, uh, if you can find this guy, I think he's well worth picking up. To transform back, he's a lot easier than he is to transform, uh, I hope. Basically... Um, I'm not going to follow any disassembly instructions because I had a hard enough time following the assembly instructions. But essentially, one thing I think is cool is this little piece here that hides his head. I think they did that quite well. Uh, Those that are Transformers fans out there and who do collect and do build these, you have my respect because I suck pretty badly, as I'm sure you can see. One thing that is nice with this guy is there is quite a lot of tabs and stuff um, that does make it a little bit easier than uh, if you had nothing. Yeah, overall, a pretty cool looking figure. Certainly something that is uh, rare and fairly exclusive. He is also quite expensive. 
So just keep that in mind if you are looking to pick this guy up. Uh, if you're a diehard Transformers fan, then I think yes, absolutely. Uh, you're going to want to get him and add him to your collection. But uh, otherwise, honestly, you could probably steer clear uh, of this guy. I mean, around the, tw <clears throat> around the $20 price point, I think, yes, 100% he's well worth it. But uh, anything more than that, and I think you're um, wasting your money, to be honest with you. Just for size comparison, I've got him with some of my Beast Wars Transformer figures. Uh, you can see scaling is uh, pretty good, actually. Fits in well with a lot of the other Transformer toys that are out there. Definitely a really good paint job. Uh, if you like cars as well, something unique and a, definitely a very cool transformation. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this review on the Transformers Toys R Us Japan exclusive Sideswipe.